Hi guys, this is the Young and the Restless review. Okay, so now we're gonna be starting with uh, who? Um, Lily and Kane. Okay, let's start with them. We're gonna save Adam and his trial for the end because that was really good. <laughs> Whew, good. Okay, so um, Lily and Kane. Kane got arrested. He's like in jail thinking like, damn, I didn't do this. But people believed I did it. Damn, what am I gonna, supposed to do? I'm screwed. And then um, Lily bells him out. So he's like, thank you, honey, for believing me. You trust me and you believe me. And I'm thinking, Kane, I don't know why you're nice to her. I would have been upset. You got me arrested. Now you want to bail me out. This is like money that could have stayed in our account. Okay? Had you talked to me before going to Dylan. Huh? But Lily bailed uh, her husband out. But she's still, you know, feeling like maybe Kane is involved in something. So Kane became, um, became, um, Kane was upset because he's like, you're supposed to trust me and you don't trust me. I don't understand. I forgave you for the, you cheating on me with Joe. And I give you back my trust. But you can't do the same. Goodbye. I ain't talking to you. So he goes to see um, his father. And um, they, they have that, that exchange that I felt like, mm-hmm, that's what I was thinking about. Kane was just more like, well, you could have set me up. I don't know. Did you set me up? Like, he didn't ask that, but that was kind of like, yeah, you could have set me up. Okay, you're that kind of dude. But Colin was like, uh-uh, you're my son. I wouldn't do that to you. I would do that to somebody else, but not to you. You my child. And Kane was just like, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Like, damn, you don't need to, to be talking to me about this. Like, I know you wouldn't do that. And um, then Colin gave him some advice. And it's so funny that Colin is like the voice of reason. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Colin said to him that you know what you need to talk to Lily like the problem with modern relationships is that um, no there's no communication so go talk to your wife okay tell her how you feeling okay so Kane decides to go um see Lily and they explain their, themselves to each other they, Kane was just like you know what I was upset I am sorry. Lily was just like, I shouldn't doubt, I shouldn't have doubted you. I trust you. You're my husband. I believe in you. Blah, blah, blah. I'm sorry. Yeah. But before that, Lily was um, at the coffee shop talking to Dylan, and she was mad at Dylan. And she was like, I came to you for help, and you went to the police. And I was just like, Lily, you went to Dylan for help. Dylan went to the police for help. What are you mad about? You should have talked to your husband. Yeah. Don't blame other people for your mistake. You should have talked to your husband. Now you wasted money on bail. Like, ugh, that did not make sense. Mm -mm. Um, then wh who do we have to talk about? Sharon and Patty. Okay, so Sharon is, feels like she's pregnant now. She thinks that she's pregnant. And she is seeing a big belly that we are not seeing. We, you, you and I, we're not seeing that. Even Patty ain't seeing that. Okay. <laughs> and only Sharon sees it. And Dr. Anderson, Patterson, Peterson... Anderson uh, is telling her, oh my God, you're starting to show lies, lies. And um, so Sharon is very happy and Patty uh, went to talk to the doctor and she was like, Dr. Anderson, you're so amazing. You're the best doctor in the world. I believe in your treatments. Okay, I do. So please don't lock me up in my room no more. 
And Dr. Anderson was like, okay, so I'm the best doctor. I I'm good. All right. I won't let you up no more. So Patty goes straight to Sharon's um room. And I, I was like, Sh Patty, forget about Sharon, okay? Focus on yourself. You don't need Dr. Anderson to be mad at you. Especially when your brother ain't coming to see you. He's too busy. And I don't understand how come Paul is not talking about Patty. He needs to talk more about Patty and he needs to go see her. He needs to um, be there for his sister. I mean, I know he's a busy man, but once in a while, go see your sister like an hour. It wouldn't kill you. It's not like you have any kids. You only have to take care of Christine, who's an independent woman, remember? So, make time for your sister. Oh. She needs you. So yeah, Patty went to see Sharon. Sharon is telling her about how she's starting to show. And Patty's just like, I don't see nothing. Actually, you don't even look pregnant. Sharon's just like, what are you talking about? No, no, no. I look pregnant. Okay, Dr. Anderson told me so. And Patty was just like, mm, Dr. Anderson might be, you know, not giving you the right meds you don't know and I was just like Patty shush don't help Sharon Sharon is lost Sharon is lost yay 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 okay and I'm really scared for Patty because Patty is helping Sharon but Sharon is not trying to be there for Patty so mm, be careful and um so yeah the, the Sharon was upset so uh, she pushes Patty and Patty falls on the floor and Sharon was just like did I just do that? How? Yeah, so maybe because of that she's gonna feel like she's guilty and that maybe something is going on with her. Maybe Patty is right. The meds ain't right. Whew. And then we have um Abby and um, I always call him Snitch but it's Stitch. Stitch. And um, yeah, they're talking and Stitch is trying to propose. But Ashley was like, hello guys. Y'all are celebrating? About what? What's, what's going on? <laughs> I'm here. And Stitch is looking like, oh, god damn woman. Why are you here? And um, Ashley was there to just to talk to Abby about the, the, the trial. And I felt like Abby, how come you weren't at the uh, in court? I mean, you're supposed. I, I feel like she should have been trying to support Adam because Adam was there for her. Yes, he was. He helped her, and I feel like she just kind of was like, I don't really care. Let me stay with my my boo boo. Okay. <laughs> I am busy, too busy for you. Like your whole family is over there. Well, your whole family. Yeah, pretty much. Nick is just busy with Sage. Have you guys noticed how I don't even talk about Nick and Sage? I really don't care about them. Zero care. I was not even planning on talking about them today. <laughs> how cray cray. And I'm very upset uh, with Warner giving this baby that name, that meaningful name, Christian. Because that was um, Victor's name before he became Victor and I just feel like why did you give him that meaningful name because that baby is I, I, I know it's mean but he's like not that important I feel like if Sage dies I'm not gonna care if the baby dies I'm gonna be like oh a baby died oh but then I'm gonna be like I I'm over it 10 years later I'm not gonna remember that child but when it comes to Cassie, we still remember Cassie because she was the fruit. Okay? She was from Nick and Sharon. That amazing couple. Okay? I, I think they're super couple. No? I don't know. They Sharon and Nick, they represent something. They are something to us. Like, we're like, oh, Nick and Sharon. <sighs> we need them back together. Oh, my God. They were so cute together. I don't know. But... Sage and Nick, who cares about Sage? She can die tomorrow and I wouldn't care. 
just like Avery. Avery left and I was like, hallelujah, thank you, goodbye, do not come back unless you change the actress. But mm, don't come back, Avery, don't come back. Nothing was done with her. And I just didn't see the chemistry between her and Dylan and her and Nick. I just, I, just, I didn't care about her. And I, 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 at some point, I didn't even see the connection between her and Phyllis. And they were sisters. That was wrong. So, Sage, no, I really don't care. She does not even have family. Uh, and even if she did, I, 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 there's no... And they're, they're, they are in the hospital, and they just, uh, I, I feel like Sage maybe should have gone to the, to the to court to help Adam, because he did save her baby's life. Don't you want to help him? But at the same time, maybe it would have been not good for her to go there, because she was involved with the Gabriel Bingham stuff, like, you know. Or maybe she was like, I don't want to, mm -mm, I don't want to risk it. I have a baby to think of. I got myself to think of. So, I got no time for Adam. Mm -mm. No, no. So, uh, back to Abby and uh, Stitch. He tried to propose, it didn't work out. Um, I actually got the news that Adam got shot. So... Abby was like, uh, I need to go. No, that did not happen right away. What happened was, Stitch got, um, a message that he needed to go, um, to the hospital. Emergency. There's an emergency, okay? Like, he's needed. So, he had to go. He left. He was like, okay, baby, drink the champagne. There's a ring in it. There's a ring in it. Drink the champagne, baby. See you, um, later. <laughs> and Ashley's just like, okay, bye, Stitch. And then, um... Her cell phone rings, or she gets a message, or whatever, a text message, and she's like, "Oh my God, Adam got shot." So Abby left. Ashley was drinking champagne or looking at the champagne glass, and she was like, "Wait, there's something inside." She throws the champagne away. I was like, "I would have drinking it." I mean, it's that was my daughter's champagne. Like, I'm thirsty. Like, that's champagne. I'm not gonna waste it. <laughs> Like, no, but she threw it away and she saw the ring and she was like, oh no, oh no, no, he's not proposing to my daughter, oh no, no, oh no, no, and she was telling Abby before she left that um, she doesn't think that Stitch and, and her needed to get married because, you know, it's too early, too soon too soon y'all broke up like two three times already like why why are you guys trying to get married now no mm -mm. so uh ashley's gonna be talking to stitch okay trying to convince him to not marry her daughter because you know what you were into me not long ago Ooh. Ooh. and yeah stitch that's messy you were you were with abby's sister abby's uh mother Ooh. No, 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 no. And how are you going to, I can't wait for him to go talk to Victor. Victor is going to be like, no, no, not my youngest daughter. Like, pfft, no, it's not happening. Like, I was okay with you being with Victoria because I didn't want Billy in her life. But you're not going to be with Abby. No. Mm -mm. So, um, the trial. Okay, let's talk about the trial. Okay. Um, um, Adam, Adam really felt guilty. He wanted, like, he was telling the truth. He was, like, honest. He was not even trying to save himself, um, the whole time. Um, before the, the trial began, he wanted to run away with Chelsea. He was like, Chelsea, like, what if there's another way we could do this? And Chelsea was just like, all of a sudden, you look scared and worried. I don't understand. Is there something going on? And I was just like, Chelsea. Um, I, I mean, I wouldn't have thought of Adam's words or actions to be weird. Like, who wants to go to jail? Who wants to go to prison for 25 years? Maybe 25 years or 10 years or 15 years. You don't want to do that and you're worried and you don't know what is life 
in there. So, no. He might be thinking about his safety. He might be thinking about the things that he's going to lose, the people he's going to lose, like you and Connor. Mm -hmm. But then, uh, yeah. So Adam was like, we could run away, have a life in Paris, anywhere. I would just run, and then I would send for you. My daddy said he would help me. And Chelsea was like, mm -mm. Victor ain't trying to help you, okay? He was, she's going to screw you over. Don't trust Victor, okay? He's not for you, not trying to help you at all. Don't believe him. He's scamming you, okay? Boy, please. And even if you go, you run away, I'm not going to be coming with you. So, like, looks like Adam had to show up. <laughs> so, yeah. In the trial, I felt like the trial was not as good as I thought it was going to be. Like, I, there was something missing. Like, I did not like what Christine was, Christine was saying. Because I felt like she could have gone deeper fought harder like she sh should have talked about um adam being gabriel bingen okay you changed your face boo boo you changed your name you went to another country honey and you were planning on living there that's really important and by the way you took the you took um what's her name constance money okay gabriel bingen's grandmother which means Adam's grandmother till she died. Like, you took some people's money because you wanted revenge on your father. You worked at your father's company and that with that assumed name. And, I, I mean, I, I felt like it, things needed to be said. But I'm thinking that maybe they didn't want to talk about it because Sage was involved. And maybe Sage needs to go to jail, too. She needs to go to prison, too. Because, I mean, that's fraud, okay? You took somebody else's name. You you helped him change his face. Yeah, Sage needs to go to prison. She can go away. I wouldn't mind. Mm, yes. And, um, Michael's speech, I mean... It was okay, but I mean, something was missing there, too. Um, I, I feel like he should have gone harder. And, um, yeah, but it's okay. It's okay. But now that, that um, he repeated what happened, he told us what happened. Adam didn't try to kill Delia. It was really an accident, and he actually, it was not a hit and run. He actually went out of his car and looked around he was like there's nothing so he left like technically that could have happened to all of us you think you hit something and then you look around you don't see nothing you're not gonna think oh maybe there's a child okay under my car or behind my car or at my left side or my right side you don't think you you're not gonna think that you hit somebody and when you see an animal like, ooh, being scared, you're like, oh, okay, that's the animal I probably almost hit. And you're like, ooh, okay, hallelujah, let me go about my day. <laughs> you know? So, um, I just feel like he should have been found not guilty. And it's funny, like, at the, um, that, that Billy said, uh, like, it was my fault. I shouldn't have left today. And I was like, but... Couldn't have he been accused of neglecting his child? Because I've heard about cases where they like, um, you left your child in the car for like five minutes. Like you went to just, I don't know, pick up some milk or, or, or bread or cereal. And you left your child like for five minutes. And people are like upset and they call the police. And you're like charge or something with neglecting your child people want to take away your child the court wants to take away your child so i'm just like how come he was not charged with something okay i just i, I wouldn't want him to be charged i i don't feel like he's guilty like you lost your child but at the same time we do have those laws i guess and those 
cases have happened and I'm for regular people I don't know if it's like oh, okay he's rich so we're not going to be doing that I don't know if that's if that's the case but I don't know like you left your kid in the car yeah I mean yeah I don't know so um Billy felt guilty Adam was just like no don't you dare say that it's your fault it's not your fault and um, that was just like I did not expect for it to happen like that I was just like uh, okay that's kind of weird but um yeah and then we had a uh, Chelsea testimony about how uh, to his core Adam is a good man okay and I was just like, mm, 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 okay, okay, and I still love him. We know you love him, Chelsea. Like, mm, 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 mm -hmm. and you're talking to him the uh, a couple of minutes before, a couple of hours before, like after they had sex. She was like, Adam, this is not the new beginning. This is goodbye. I was like, girl, please. You've been saying goodbye to him. Like, stop. Stop. <laughs> okay, stop. And now you're praying for him to not get a, a long sentence. Maybe a year, two years. I thought he was going to get community service or something. I don't know. Like, I just felt like he feels guilty. And I don't feel like... He, I don't know. He, the only thing he's guilty of is lying. Is uh, for um, stealing somebody's identity stealing some money but not killing the little girl and I found it I don't know that was surprising to me that he was guilty of they found him guilty of the hit and run but it's okay it's okay so he's pronounced sentenced to 10 years and yeah he's guilty so he leaves the court um the courthouse and I'm thinking okay um why are we seeing this because usually like Nobody spends. They don't. They don't give us that 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 shot when the the guy, the guilty person, gets in the prison van. They don't give us that shot. That usually, like, they don't film that. So I was just like, okay, but that's nice. Just seeing Adam and Chelsea looking at each other like this is goodbye. This is over. <laughs> Ten years. And um, Kevin was not happy with the sentence. Esther either and I was just like but that's 10 years that, that I mean that's good maybe you want him to stay there forever but 10 years that's good you should be happy like if it was five years I would have understood like mm, five years but a decade like be happy so he's leaving the courthouse and um he gets hit by a car Adam gets hit by a car <laughs> And the car was white um, and did not attempt to stop. So it was clearly an attempt to uh, kill Adam. Okay. Yes, and I'm thinking maybe Chloe did it. Chloe did it. Chloe did it. Because I just feel like why is she, why wasn't she at the courtroom? Like, I, I don't understand. Why wasn't she there? Like, she was just not there. Did not try to speak. You hate him so much. You try to kill him in front of these people. Like 10 people. And you don't show up when it's time to um, to get that dude in prison forever. Like your testimony could have changed something. You could have talked about how you struggled. How you wanted to kill yourself. How you wanted to kill him. How you wanted to, I mean... How you you you've tried to kidnap a child because you were so lost and your mental issues because of what he did to your little girl. But no, you stay. She stayed away. Why? Maybe she did not do it. I don't know. But th th there's something going on. I, I don't understand. I, mm, I don't understand. It, mm. Where was she? Where was she? Yeah, where was she? So, um, they all went to the hospital. Victor is super mad. He's like, I know it's Billy Boy. I know it's Billy Boy. 
Okay? Paul, arrest him. Right now. Jack is trying to protect Billy. I, Billy is talking. I'm just like, Billy, if if somebody needs to talk to you, a police officer, a detective, you need to get your lawyer. Especially when everybody looking at you like you might be guilty. Okay? Get a lawyer. Now, about Paul, I forgot to say something about Lily and Kane. Um, Paul went to um, Kane's house. He had a search warrant. And he left one of his officers, what well, one of his officer, his officer alone. And she was a female officer. It was a female officer. And it's like, why? She was left alone with angry Kane. Neil who's trying to help stop Kane from like jumping at her and jumping on her. And Lily who's looking like, ah, ah. Don't do it, Kane. Don't do it, Kane. And I'm just thinking, like, this is so not real life. Because you need to be at least two if you're going to be searching a house. Yeah. Because this is dangerous. You don't know who you're dealing with. What if that person, the man you, you're searching... If you're searching a house and the man is angry and wants to beat you up... Like, I mean, I know they are trained and they have a gun... But you still need to be too, just in case. Like, you need to know that there, someone has your back in here. Like, she was left alone. And at the athletic club, there were two. I was just like, but you're searching the house on your own. And it doesn't matter if it was a male officer or a female officer. They need to be too. It's dangerous for the officer. Anyways, that's what I wanted to say. So, yeah, Victor wants... Um, oh, I forgot something. I forgot something. Uh, Kane wants to leave the house. He's like, you know what? If my wife doesn't trust me, doesn't believe in me, and acts as if I'm guilty, well, I got to go. He he wants to leave. And it was just like, mm, what am I supposed to do? What should I do? Like, ooh. Yeah. And then we have Lily talking to Joe. Joe is like, if you need a friend. I'm just like, Lily, that's the guy you cheated with. Like, stay away from him. Like, oh, girl, bye. Yeah, so I'm done with that now. Back to Victor. Victor really wants uh, Billy in prison because he feels like he's responsible. Chelsea is crying because she's like, my husband, I want to be with my husband. But the the police officer is like, uh, he's a prisoner now. Okay, even Michael said it. Like, he's not your husband. He's a prisoner. Okay, you can't see him. But at some point, um, yeah, Paul is just like, you know what? I'm going, to, I'm going to be nice, and I'm going to allow Chelsea to go see him. So she went to see him, and meanwhile, Victor is at her house, trying to see, uh, her house, uh, her apartment, trying to see corner, corner, Connor, and he's like, uh, let me pay the nanny. Nanny, go get yourself something to eat. And I'm just like, really, girl? What if he kidnaps the, the little boy? This is Victor Newman here. Okay? Don't trust him for nothing, and you need to call the mother so she knows that her um, her son is with his granddaddy. Yes, but I, I guess she was like, oh, I don't want to stay in here for like two, three days. Like, I got a life, and I do need to eat, and this is extra cash. So, <laughs> thank you, sir. Goodbye, sir. I will be back someday soon. <laughs> Okay, um, so I guess that was it. Now, oh, Christine cried to Paul at some point. She was like, oh, my God, it was awful. It was awful. I was just like, I don't care about you. Let me go see uh, what's going on with Chelsea. Is she still crying with it? Uh, I don't know. Like, I, I, Christine and Paul, like, no. Okay, no, no, no. Paul, go see your sister, okay? She needs you. She does. So, guys, it's over. I'm done. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, I have a Facebook page. It's called Soiree on Rosé slash The Back 33. And I do have a Twitter called Soiree on Rosé. So, see you guys soon. Bye-bye.